All right, in this video, we'll understand the concept of elastic block store, also known as EBS. Then we'll be also doing the hands on on how to resize an EBS uh, on an Linux instance. So let's uh, first dive into the theory to understand the basics of it. So what is EBS volume? First of all, imagine EBS volume just like an external hard drive plugged on to your computer or laptop because they work in a similar fashion just like we can plug in an external hard drive and copy paste anything in that external hard drive then uh, in, uh, plug it to different computer as well and we'll be able to access the data present in the external hard drive so that's what is the concept and now Amazon has also introduced a new feature which is also known as EBS multi-attach feature. So what is this? We know that a single external hard drive cannot be attached to a multiple computers but here we can attach a single hard drive to multiple computers or EC2 instance in Amazon simultaneously. So that is uh, one of the interesting feature. But uh, there are also some constraints or uh, things to be kept in mind. And what are those? First, it should be a Nitro system. Second, it can be Linux as well, Nitro or Linux. And the most important point is that it they should be in the same ability zone. So your easy to instances should be in the same ability zone. So this uh, things you need to keep in mind if you want to use the feature of EBS multi attach feature. So let's now uh, go to the next point which sees EBS snapshots. So snapshots are nothing uh, but a kind of backup. So we, if you want uh, to keep a backup of uh, something then uh, we create snapshots of it. So I hope you got the theory. So let's uh, now do some hands on and resize uh, some EBS uh, volumes practically. All right, we are at the AWS console. Let's click on EC2. So in order to resize an EC2 instance, we for, uh, I mean EBS volume, we first need an EC2 instance. Why? Because EBS are associated with EC2 instance, right? So let's do everything from the scratch. So let's uh, give it a name. Cloud Guru Amit. I'll uh, mention is uh, something uh, resize EBS. Let's go down. Linux will select. We'll uh, choose everything uh, default settings T2 uh, network settings. Uh, we should keep in mind also auto assign uh, public IP because we'll be using instance connect. Also, we need to check this HTTPS anywhere. 8 GB, it's by default 8 GIB. We'll keep everything uh, the default settings and uh, 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 let, like, like, let's try to create one key pair so let's name it key pair create key pair so it got saved so now we are good let's uh, launch an instance so it takes a while so we'll uh, go back uh, to the instance and check what's the status of it it uh, usually takes some time all right, our instance is uh, now ready. So let's uh, move on to the storage tab because uh, the EBS is in the like the storage tab. So we can see the volume ID, the uh, size is uh, 8 GIB. So let's open it. So in order to resize uh, the specific volume, we need to select and those select the EBS volume attached to this instance. So since uh, it was the only volume attached, uh, that is the root volume so let's uh, go to actions modify volume so this is the uh, actual size so let's now move out to 14 so let's uh, click on modify click on modify there is also one documentation uh, link in the previous window i uh, don't need it so that's why uh, i'll be demonstrating everything uh, to, uh, to you so let's uh, go back to the instance i will uh, try to do um, like the instance ec2 instance connect i'll be not doing the ssh 
uh, because instance connect is the easy uh, way to demonstrate this uh, resize uh, feature i have demonstrated uh, the uh, ssh in uh, some other uh, tutorial so let's click on connect so we need to log in as a root user uh, in linux so it's stabilizing the connection so we are good so we are now in sudo instance sudo su let's be the root user so let's uh, check the uh, size available here so we can uh, see uh, dev xvda it's uh, around 8 uh, gb uh, mentioned so now let's do one ls blk to uh, check the list of the block devices that are associated with this instance let's do it so as we can see the root uh, volume it has uh, the size the extended size is 14 gb and it has one partition that is xvda1 that is uh, 8 gb so let's uh, now extend uh, the size uh, by the following command we use uh, group part command for it so it's uh, group part slash dev slash xvda1 uh, why you have done the xvda1 because there's a mention of xvda1 so we uh, we are done with this so now let's uh, file uh, find the file system of the uh, block devices associated with the uh, ec2 instance by entering uh, cmlsblk uh, will do uh, minus uh, f uh, the command goes so here uh, we can see that it is of uh, xfs uh, right so there are basically two command so uh, if it was uh, x, uh, xt4 uh, then we use resize uh, command but since or it's uh, since for us the uh, file system uh, type is xfs so the command is xfs growfs so just remember this if it is uh, ext4 then it should be resized to fs if it is uh, xfs then it should be xfs growfs so we'll use xfs growfs for it because uh, this is xfs xfs uh, growfs slash dev slash xvda1 so let's uh, run it yeah so we can see the result data blocks changed from this is this so now let's uh, run the basic command that is df minus h and now let's check the final results all right so we got our final results as uh, we can see now xvda1 is 14 uh, gigs uh, that's what is expected and if we move uh, up uh, to our initial command where we have started uh, we can see uh, before uh, running those command it was 8 gb so that was uh, before modifying and after running the command uh, we got our required output so i hope uh, you found this tutorial helpful